here we are having a closer look at the Musical Fidelity Merlin speaker system which I did the unboxing video of about, about 10 days ago now. As you can see I've got them in the separate orientations you can have. Looking at the back there's a screw system here which you can screw in to this uh, hole to make it vertical or this hole to make it horizontal. Looking at both of them, I definitely prefer the vertical, but I can see some people might prefer the horizontal. Going back over the features again, there's two proper binding posts, there's a small base reflex port, made of quality metal uh, construction. Uh, I've got an Audio Lab amplifier and they match that pretty well. In the front, there's a single balanced mode radiator and it's hidden behind a fairly sturdy metal grill so it's good for anyone with small children. And overall I paid about £70 for them. So I've had them running in for about a week now and I've had a listen to them and how do they sound? Well I think there's, there's, there's pros and cons to them. Uh, on the positive side I think they image very well and they've got a very good mid-range so I think they'd be excellent with things like uh, maybe folk music, acoustic music. Uh, I expect the treble's a bit rolled off. Probably doesn't matter so much at my age, but there you go. Uh, the con with them, I think, is the bass. And I've been trying to think of how to describe it. And I think the best way to describe the bass of these is that they're, they're a bit like a balloon. You know, you, you know what a boom's like, you can see the shape of it, but there's, there's actually no substance to it. And, and the base of the, these is a bit like them. You can, you can tell where the base should be and what it sort of look, should sound like, but there, there's no actual substance to it. You know, in my present speakers with the acoustic energy ones, there's a real kind of gut kick to the base, which, which there isn't with these. And I think if I was going to be a rock fan, or a heavy metal fan, or a hip hop fan, I'd want to use them with a subwoofer. So overall, I think for the £70 I paid for them, I think they're, they're, they're pretty good value. And I can certainly see it as part of the, the constant rotation of my system. Uh, particularly, as I say, for things like uh, acoustic music. I think if I'd paid the full uh, price of £299 for them, I, I'd be slightly disappointed. I, I think they probably wouldn't be worth that. But for the £70 I paid for them, I think they're a pretty good deal and they're a keeper. So thank you for watching. As I say, I am an eBay Hi-Fi fanatic and I've got a couple more things coming out. And I, hope for, I look forward to seeing you again. Thank you.